Kara at a friend's mutual pool party. And four years into our relationship, I asked her to marry me, and uh, we got married there in 2000. And uh, just, she was my best friend, and she's just the light of my life. One of the best things that happened was when they got to move to Amarillo and um, just be closer to us. When we moved to Amarillo, she immediately got a job at Amarillo Country Club as the membership coordinator and uh, was one of the favorite people there. Kara was our membership services department. She handled all of our membership needs and handled the special events, 4th of July, Memorial Day. Emerald Country Club offers our employees a comprehensive medical plan, um, a small life insurance policy, dental and vision. We believe that the employees need to have the option to purchase additional life insurance and we want them to have that option as part of their whole compensation package. Initially we'll have a group meeting with all of the employees and discuss what voluntary benefits are available. Voluntary benefits are where the employer will allow us to come in, offer our benefits, and it's, it's, it's up to the employee to, to pay for their benefits. I began getting ill about four years ago. My liver began to fail. At one time, doctors had told Kara that, that I probably wasn't gonna make it. I think when Kara made the decision to purchase the life insurance, it was not for herself, really. Kara was interested, I think, more because of what her husband was going through. A lot of times people will realize the need when they're going through a real life situation. And so Kara um, expressed that they had a young son and that she needed to purchase more life insurance. My parents had been out of town and had come back in town and Kara called me up and said, let's have them over for dinner. I got home and waited for her to get home. She pulled in the driveway, came in the house with uh, the food and she went to the kitchen to prepare it and my son Trey walked in the kitchen and I didn't hear anything. He came back out and he said, mom needs to go to the doctor, she's sick. And I walked in the kitchen and I found her gasping for breath. We rushed her to the hospital and uh, when we got to the hospital they, they told us that she had passed. She died of a cardiac tamponade and it's not a heart attack. It was an artery or a vein ruptures that is above the cardiac sac that uh, basically just drowned or, or smothered her heart. I went home and, and I got Trey in the bedroom and I told him that his mother is very sick and he said, how sick? And I said, she's not coming home and he cried and said the why me's and all those things and we pretty much cried each other to sleep that night. That additional money that came in was, was really what kept Trey and I in the house we live in. When Kara died, they lost her income, you know, they had already because of the liver transplant had outstanding medical bills and things of that nature that this was able to assist them in their time of need. You know, I just looked at it as a gift that, that Kara left me. John and Trey are doing amazingly well today. Um, John's a great dad and Trey is very well adjusted, loves his dad and they're very close. They make a good team. I think that Life insurance is, is important. It's probably one of the most important benefits that we do offer. I have made sure that I've covered myself and made sure that Trey's gonna be okay if something does happen to me. The most important thing that I would tell people is to think about your future now and be prepared.